Hi. Okay, so today's session, what we have got is four different blocks of three uh, exercises. So we're going to do 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, and uh, cycling through the three exercises, and we do that three rounds, um, and then we move on to the next one. Okay, so again, another one that's kind of keeping going, working through the whole thing um, with a little bit of rest. If you need to stop and take more rest, you do or if you're watching afterwards, pause, make sure you're, you're getting rest. If some of the movements are a bit too complicated, let's just try and work for the 30 seconds, doing, change it up a wee bit. Okay, so if it's just simply just squats or jumping jacks, something like that, just keep going. Um, again, you can jump back in the next round or whatever. Okay, so we're on a great schedule as usual, so let's just get going. So first exercises we've got is squat touches, and then lunge with knee drives and mountain climbers with the press up. So if you're not sure what we're doing with them, just watch me in the first couple of reps and then join in as soon as you can, okay? 10 seconds and we're getting started with your squat touches. So use this a bit of a warm up. And just nice and slow. So 30 seconds of these. So putting feet out, squatting down to the floor. Try and get the chest up as much as you can. Get the hips nice and low. Yeah, use this as your warm up. Okay, 20 seconds rest. We're on to lunges. So reverse lunge. So lunge back and then we're driving your knee up. Alternating legs. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. So back, drive the knee, switch sides. So yeah, keep it going, try and speed up if you can. Next round, I'm gonna add a wee hop at the top. Just now I'm just warming up, getting moving. seconds rest. So this time we're on the floor, we're doing mountain climbers. So every time we do four mountain climbers and we do one press up. Again just do the mountain climbers if you want. So one, two, three, four. One round done, back to our squat touches. Ready, let's go. So jump the feet out, touching the floor. Heels in the floor, squat down. Just in there. Back to our lunge and knee drive. So this time I'm going to try and drive knee up as hard as I can and add a wee hop in with my standing leg to come up onto the toes. So right leg back. Walk with the left foot. Switch over. Mm -hmm. 
just near Mount Claymore as we're pressing up. Ready. So if you want to do it every six, it's up to you or more. So back to our squat touches. Hips down rather than leaning too far forward. We want to get our hips lower so we can touch the floor. Okay. Lunge first, knee drive. Driving that knee, add the hop in if you want. So, last exercise of these block, this block, we've got a mountain climber press ups. Say your legs this time, so one, two, four, maybe five. Who cares? Come on, tight before I do my press up. New exercises. We've got lateral bear crawl, jumping jacks, and then half burpees. Okay, so 10 seconds and we're straight into lateral bear crawl. If you need to be a bit longer, so you just you can take that rest. Your knees off the floor, hands and feet. Two or three steps forward, steps to the side, two or three steps back. Whatever room you've got, try and just use it. But keep that core tight, knees low, back flat. Slow and controlled, no need to rush it. Jumping jacks. Let's go. Next 
there. Okay, half burpees. So it's just like our mountain climber, but both feet come up at the same time. Hands stay on the floor. Okay, if you're not sure, just watch me first couple of reps and then join in when you cancel down. Press up position. Feet come up, feet go back. Keep okay. going, trying to get those feet as close to the hands as we can. Oh. Best there. Oh. One set down, lateral bear crawls. So to make it easier, we can just hold this position, okay? That's gonna be quite hard, keeping the core tight. If not, we're moving side to side. So even if it's just one step, and one step, we're still working. I'm just using the room that I've got. And check yourself, keep those knees low. Oh, jumping jacks. That's one, didn't it? Three, two, let's go. Half four piece. Let's get one more minute here today. So we can come up here and straight back in. Oh. Round two done. One more back to our lateral bear crawls. Jacks. Let's go.
Last set of half bar piece. Oh, I'm gonna cut this one out next door. Back in. Let's get ready. Here we go. movements we've got switches so I'll demonstrate them bear curls and then burpee lunges the joys so switches what we do is we run the squat we rotate our hips to the side chest stays forward back up the squat other side okay again watch me if you're not sure so down hips rotate back hips rotate back If they're too hard, what we can do is rotate the upper body instead. But if we can, jump the hips around. Try and keep the chest facing forward. Try to bring the core in there. Get that rotation. Oh, okay. Bear crawl forward and back last time. Same position as the lateral one. He's moving forward and then moving back. Oh. Ready? Let's go. Knees across the floor, flat back. Back forward. Yeah, just try and keep moving, small steps. Just even if it's two or three, forward and back. It's totally fine. We just try to work for 30 seconds. Oh. What was I thinking? Burpee lunges. So if we need to make this easier, just do our burpees. <coughs> but if you want to make it harder, throw in the lunges as well. So burpee, we're down, chest to the floor, up, lunge, lunge, back down, up, lunge, lunge. Your switches, one round that's done. Oh. Ready? So you go your own pace. So squat down, up, rotate the hips, back, either side. And keep it slow and controlled. If you've not done it before, then build the piece out. Try to keep that chest facing forward, so it's just the hips rotating. Bear crawls. Down. Let's go. So legs are working more on the way out, arms are working on the way back in. Up. 
our free lunges. Two, one, let's go. Down, up, lunge, lunge. Back to the stretches. Let's go, come on. Nearly there. Let's go up there. Good. Oh, bear crawls. Let's go. Knees up, come up too high. What I'm doing, stay more controlled. Knees lower, flat back. Knees slow it down. Last set of these. Let's go. Okay, last set of exercises. Ready. So we've got walk outs with a press up, oh, frog squats, and side gorillas. Oh. We've only got 10 seconds, so I'll demonstrate them as we go. Oh. So walk out, make sure you've got room with a down, touch the floor into press up position. We do a press up, we walk back in. You can keep your bum in the air if you want, or we can squat down, sink the hips back, and stand up. If you don't want to do the press up, that's fine. If you want to do two or three each time, that's fine as well. Just in here. Okay, now we've got frog squats. So we're going down into the bottom of our squat. Elbows go into the side of our knees. And then we're straightening our legs. So squatting down, elbows in. Use those elbows for a bit of resistance. Then we're straightening our legs, pushing the bum in the air, okay? Try and keep your back as flat as we can. My back doesn't really do flat, but I'm working on it. Good, so it's thinking, bum up, hips through. Okay, so we're trying to get that chest up as far as we can when we come back down. Okay, 
resisting. Yeah, we'll just give a wee bit of resistance. Good. Next one, side gorilla. Oh my goodness. We're back into that squat position. Remove the hands to the side, bring the legs over. You can stand up, sit down if you want. First round, I'm just going to try and stay down the whole time. So squat, hands over, move the legs, chest up, heels in the floor. Now we go again, chest up, heels in the floor. Go again. It's a set position, move the hands, move the legs. If you can get deeper in that squat, feel free. I should be getting deeper, but I didn't have that. Good, okay, one round done. So let's focus on technique this round. If you're getting better than me, you're getting deeper, good. Then you can start up in the pace a wee bit. Let's get the technique first. So, squat down, walking my hands out, do my press up, and walk back in. Core staying tight, so brace, press up, brace. You can walk back in. The core should be engaged. Don't let your back sag or anything. Good. Okay. Next one, frog squats. Ten seconds. Yeah, elbows in, bit of resistance, so you're pushing out, opening that gap for the hips to drop a wee bit lower, chest through, bum up, and chest through, bum up, and then hips sink, chest through, up and down, okay, again, a wee bit of resistance, drive them out, drive those knees out the bottom, press into the elbows and the way back up. Side gorillas. This time I'm going to go up down each side. One, so I'm down, hands across. Up, down, burn. Back over. Up, down, back over. So squeeze the glutes at the top and then back down. Move the hands. Hands. Good. Okay. One more set of each exercise. Let's go. Walk those hands out. Press up. Walk them back in. We're going to do two this time. Walk them back. Let's do three this time. Okay. One, two, three. Walk back in. Maybe four. Do one. Okay. Frog squats. Ready and two, one, down. Sink those hips low. Try to open those hips at the bottom. Oh, 
Straight girl is then time. Nice right, start early, getting down. Let's go now for 10 extra seconds of work. Keep going. You can start now if you want. Everybody should be working now, so let's go. Heels on the floor, chest up. Move the hands. Heels on the floor, chest up. Okay, keep it going. So rotate over, hands, feet. Oh, come on, 10 seconds left. Oh, I should rest that extra 10. Keep going, come on. This is it after this. Oh. Workout done. Four, okay. A few seconds, breath back. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well done folks. Great effort. Um, a wee bit longer, but who cares? Um, hope you enjoyed that. Again, usual, if you're, if you're enjoying these, give us a little bit of feedback. Let us know how you're getting on. Um, and we'll keep going till we're back on campus. Okay, take care. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.